What's up guys, Adrian Jr. here at the Outdoors and today's video I'm going to show you guys how to install the Helix 5 fish finder right here. I, I bought this one, it will run you about 500 bucks but it does everything, it does side imaging and all that and I'm going to show you guys how to install this. I was originally planning on installing it on my trolling motor but we figured out that this one's not compatible with that. It won't let you do side imaging and all that so we're going to actually throw it on the back of the boat and I'm going to take you guys step by step on how to do it. Stay tuned and enjoy. So I just took everything out of the box right there. And this is the actual fish finder right here. We got the smaller screen because we actually want to make it fit in our center console. So if it was too big of a screen, it wouldn't fit. And we're actually planning on putting it in our center console right here. I plan on mounting it right here, so I'm going to get everything ready and I'm gonna go step by step on how I'm going to install this fish finder. It's going to go about right here. So I have this piece right here, it's for the cables to run through and I'm gonna have to drill a hole in the center console for that and this is the closest thing we have to it right now. I, I know it's for wood but we're gonna make it work. So it's gonna be drilled somewhere around here and that's where the cords are gonna run through for the fish finder. It's not the best hole ever, but it works. Let's see, there it goes. Notice I just took off the windshield. Uh, it's just kind of getting in the way right now. It'll make life a little bit easier putting it on. So this is actually taking a lot longer than we had planned for. And we actually had to buy some stuff. We had to buy some extra wires and some things to run because we had to run the wires all the way from through the bottom of our boat to the back because these flat bottom boats don't open up for you to do that so we had to get stuff to do that and it, we had to notice right here we hooked this up in the back we had to get a 3 amp um, fuse right there so if anything ever happens it doesn't blow out our fish finder and it comes out right here so it's working out but it's taking a while so here's the transducer cable and the power cable we ran them all the way up here, so now all we have to do is screw this in right here. I'll be ready to put the fish finder on. And then all we have to do next is just install the transducer to the back of the boat. I'm going to attach the cables in first. And then after I do that, we're going to attach it to this. So that cable goes right there. And this cable goes right there. So both cables are in. And now all you have to do is just put it on this. I attached the fish finder with these clips right here and it's working. We're going to go turn it on right now and see how it works. Alright, so I just turned it on. It's the first time this boat's had a fish finder on it. And it says press exit to continue. Max depth 1500 feet, jeez. So we figured out the fish finder is getting power. It's working good. So now all we have to do is go and uh, attach the transducer and we'll be done. You can bring it out to the lake. So finding a spot to put the transducer on our flat bottom boat is pretty hard. Uh, you never want to put it behind the motor because just when you're moving and stuff too much bubbles and stuff create you won't get an accurate reading. And behind these grooves right here you don't want it directly behind one of these either because if you do that once again it creates bubbles and that's not what you want. So we actually want to put it right here but the problem is this piece of wood's here so we're, we're actually going to cut four inches off of it and put the carpet back over it and we're going to put the transducer here. So it's a lot more work than we thought it was going to be but we're going to start cutting that right now. After unwrapping the carpet and everything it looks like we're only going to have to cut off about an inch or two. So that's pretty good. Okay I got my trusty assistant with me right here. He's going to just try to cut off a little bit of that board and we'll go from there. So we ended up only cutting it about two inches right here. Uh, that's perfect, just enough to where it won't knock the transducer off the boat when we put it on the on the trailer. So it's a little beat up looking, but we're gonna beat it with a hammer and some sandpaper or something, smooth it out. Then we're gonna put the carpet back over and staple it, and then put on the transducer.
we're starting to drill the holes. So it'll be a matter of minutes now before it'll be ready to bring out on the water. So we finally got the transducer on right here. I think it's a tiny bit low, but the hole's already drilled and everything. We'll just have to take it out a couple times and see how it does. They're supposed to be halfway below the boat and half above. We're doing this test right here to see where the water would flow, and it's going to hit about half, half of the transducer, which is perfect, actually. So it actually looks really good. I'm happy about that. All right, guys, we're done with everything. Notice I put these little clips here. This holds the wire down, and it turned out great. It's the next day guys, uh, my original plan was to get out and catch some fish using the fish finder but it's been windy and it's going to be windy for the next couple days. So I can promise you guys and guarantee you guys that in my next fishing video you guys will see that fish finder in, in use. I'll show you guys a little bit of what things look like on it and how to use it and everything. So I'm actually really excited because I'm going on my elk hunt this weekend. It's going to be a muzzleloader hunt. I got a muzzleloader. I'll show you guys that muzzleloader in a future video. So other than that, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something on how to install a fish finder. Uh, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you outdoors.